Hi guys, how are we doing today? <clears throat> I'm coming to you today to show you how to design this card that I had in mind. And it's going to be a baby card. So to get started, I'm going to end up bringing in a shape. And that's the wrong one. I'm going to bring in a shape, a square. And I'm going to measure the square to be four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to measure this out. I think I'm just going to come over here. And I want this to be four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so here goes my card base. Now I want to take another shape, another square coming in. And I want to make the width of this four and a quarter and then this is I want this to be two and a half okay and then I'm gonna add this close to the middle then I'm gonna take both of the shapes and I'm going to slice So I have this part out, and here goes another part. Now what I want to do, I want to add these two separate, because I want to add stuff to this card. <clears throat> you know, before I do that, let me undo this. I forgot, you always got to duplicate your cards, your base, your shapes, always when you're welding. Okay. And that looks good right there. And I'm going to slice. Now I'm going to duplicate this shape. And as you see, I want to take this shape and I want to high contour. But you can't when you do the contour. But if you double, if you duplicate your shapes. And let's say, let's move this one over to the side. As a matter of fact, let's get rid of this one. This is the one that we high contour. And you see this shape here. When you duplicate it, then you can high contour your shape. You see, guys? So always remember, let me duplicate this. And I want to high contour the bottom. Okay. Okay, and then with this one, I want to do the top. Okay, no, I want to do the bottom. Sorry, guys. Okay, so you see we have these two pieces. Now you want to take this, and not yet. So now that we got our two pieces, I want to insert my images. So I want to get some clouds. And the clouds that I like is this one right here. And this cloud is from DC Comics Superman. And I already purchased this cartridge. You might not have it under the subscription. But you can, you guys can definitely try to use any cloud that you would like. But I like the way this cloud looks. It kind of looks uh, cartoony. So I'm going to insert that in. And here goes my cloud. Now they always come out big. But what I want to do is ungroup this. And I want to use the shadow layer. So here goes the outline and here goes the other one. But I don't want to use this size. I want to X that out and then when I put this over that it already gives it a shadow layer you see how it looks so I want to add these two together because I want to resize them to the size that I need 
and to make sure that they don't come apart you un you group them together okay so now I want to bring this over here but I want to make them uniform to where it looks pretty decent right here and that looks good oh you want to ungroup this then you want to duplicate this because once you weld this to the other shape it's going to disappear and then you need a layer to go on top of that so and you want to weld okay so now you have one cloud so you want to take this right here and you want to duplicate it again and you want to bring this cloud down here and you want to do the same thing duplicate it to add another to add another layer that goes over here so then you want to take this cloud and you want to add it down here and then you joined it with that piece and then you weld okay so now as you guys can see now that we have these shapes welded you want to bring them to the back because then all the other layers will fall on top instead of you have to move all of them to the front or the back so you see that goes right there then I want to arrange this one to the front and this goes over here so you see how that guys looks and it's gonna go the same for this one up here I wanna bring this to the front because this was in the back Okay, now I just wanted to make sure that it was going to even up. Okay, <clears throat> so now I want to go back into my shapes and I want to uh, search for a stock. <clears throat> Oh, I spelled it wrong. A stork. And it won't be in that one. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let me go to my all my images. Okay, now I want to find a bird that's holding a baby, a stock, carrying a baby, and and here it goes. Now this one is from the cartridge cricket light cartridge nine months and as you can see I purchased that so let's bring that in oh I wanted to just bring the image in so let me find the stock and he's right here okay so here goes my image <clears throat> now I want to kind of make it a little bit bigger and I want to flip it so you want to go to the edit panel and mirror image and flip it over then I want to take my bird and lay it right here kind of and I think he's a little bit too big so let me size him down a little bit and I think he's going to be perfect there but what I want to do I want to move him over I want to make another cloud so I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to duplicate it 
and to do that you got to go into the layers panel and duplicate it and then I want to size this one down just a tad bit smaller then I want to take this one and duplicate because I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to join it on top of the other cloud then I'm going to take both of the shapes and then I'm going to weld so you see my base right there and I think I didn't give too much room okay and then I want to weld okay so you see how cool that look guys then I want to go to my layers panel and the stock does not have a shadow but what you can do is just duplicate this shape ungroup it and then you can take this shape right here and add it down here but I need to make sure that these two pieces are gonna lay right on top because as you can see I'm making a card base out of my images so I want to move this over And I think I'm going to line that and the card to the bottom. Okay, and then I want to take this layer and this shape and I want to align it to the top. Oh, no, I did that wrong. Let me move this cloud out the way. Line to the top. Nope, it took the other shape. And I want to line this to the bottom. And it did not do that. Yes, it did. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag this one down. Now that I got that done, okay, so then I want to bring this piece right here, and I want it to go right there and I'm going to take this piece and the top piece and I'm going to weld them together so now here goes your layer as you can see so now in order for you to weld it together with the card to make a card shape line at the top and let me center it horizontal okay 
Okay, now after you end up lining it up, you take both of the shapes and you want to take the first layer and you want to go to the edit and you want to horizontal, mirror horizontal, go up and down. And then if you go to the layers and you click on this one, you just want to bring it down. Let me kind of, okay. And you want to have it butted up. Just like that. A little bit better than what I'm doing, guys. Okay, and then you want to take both of the shapes. And you want to weld them together. Now, to see your image, as you can see, this is our car base. And this is measured four and a quarter it's four and three fourths but you can change it if you unlock it well I won't change it I'll leave it like this just for the recording purposes but my card base will be four and a quarter by eleven okay so then what you want to do is take the shape and then turn it upside down again and there goes your card base guys let me bring you guys in just a tad bit. There goes your card base. I'm a little off up here, but just don't mind that. Then you want to take your clouds. And so you can see how the card is going to come out. Take your card base, arrange it to the back. And then... Bring it forward. If I can grab it and place that right there. Then take this shape. And then add it right here. And then take this one, add this one right up here. Then you want to take your stalk and add it right on top, layering just like that. Now you want to actually bring this to the front because you want the baby not to be behind the cloud, but in front of the cloud. And then... And my card is going to look like that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take you to my table and I'm going to show you how all the pattern papers and how to make this card pop. Okay guys, so now we're down at my table and these are the cartridges that I end up using for my cut. I use a Cricut Lite 9 months, Create a Critter, Superman cartridge, and uh, Martha Stewart All Occasion Cakes Art. And the paper pack that I'm using today is this baby boy stack and it's from DCW D, uh, DCWV and I end up using this pattern right here this pattern and then this one right here so let's get started so here goes my card base guys that I designed and this is an A2 size card and it's four and a quarter by five and a half and here goes my card base and as you can see I already scored it in the middle so let's start doing the inside now for the inside I made it really simple because since there's an opening you wanted the background to kind of coordinate with the front of the card so I'm gonna add my layer paper right over here and I already put the layers together So I hope everyone's having an awesome Labor Day weekend. Today's Monday. The weekend's almost over. Okay, so I want to adhere this right in the middle. Oh. 
okay and I know I just didn't do that let me see why oh okay kind of smeared it a little bit but I'll end up doing something with that later so there goes the inside of the card so now let's start doing and layering the front of the card now for the front of the card this is the image and now I'm gonna adhere just one layer on the top and it's gonna be really simple it's not gonna be a lot of layers in this card But the dimension is going to be just as worth it as if I had a lot of layers. So I'm going to adhere this right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same with my bottom layer. Now this layer right here, I cut it at green because I wanted it to be my grass. Okay, and I want to add this leaving what I end up doing also I kind of left some white showing to kind of offset it like an like if it was layers and that looks good right there now the next thing I want to do is I end up using my creative time with Emma stitch grass dye and I end up cutting it out of glitter so with this I want to attach this to the bottom okay and I want this to go over The green layer on the bottom and as you can see you see how it looks like full grass now I want to I end up using a cut from Mrs. K's Cuttables again and this is the so stinking cute cut file and it's of a stinking uh, skunk but it comes with like three four different images it comes with the skunk the Sun the clouds and I think some flowers also I don't want to put that down yet because before I do that I want to add my clouds so here goes my clouds from uh, the Superman cartridge and that is on page 69 and I cut out is in the font section so I cut this out and I cut out the shadow so I cut all three of them out but I minus this cut because I just wanted these two so what I did, I ended up making my own shadow. So you see how it looks? Just two, three layers. But it's only two pieces instead of three. You know, if you don't have to waste no paper, that's the way to go, guys. So I want to make sure this is the cloud that goes right here. And it is. So now I'm just going to adhere some glue. And I'm going to glue it down. And that's gonna go right up here just like that now I want to add my Sun because I want my Sun to go in front of the cloud so I'm gonna catty corner right there and there goes my Sun next thing is I want to do the other cloud that goes down here and as you see I end up welding them to make my shape card and then like I always tell you every time you go to weld the shape you want to duplicate it because 
when you weld it you automatically lose your piece so I'm just gonna add some more glue down on this cloud okay and I want to add it right down here just like that and this is coming out so darn cute okay and then the last one is the last cloud and I'm gonna add glue to this one and add it right on top of the other one okay now in uh, Martha Stewart cake art occasional cake art I end up cutting out right here welcome baby boy and I cut both of the layers and I cut this out at three quarters of an inch by two so here goes my little sign and I'm gonna add that down here and I was thinking about popping that up so let me get my phone tape I just want to add some thin layers not too big because it's really not a big sign And then one more. Okay. So now I just want to take this foam tape off. And now I'm going to add my sign right over here on the edge. Just like that. It says, Welcome, baby boy. And then in Create a Critter, I end up cutting out this word, Special Delivery. And I cut it out of blue glitter and black cardstock. And then I use my glossy accents and glass, a uh, liquid glass from close to my heart, glossy accents. It does the same exact thing. So there goes my sentiment. So now I'm going to add that up here. And I'm just going to add this flat down. Okay, so now I want to take my tweezers and I want to add that right here, just like that. And that's in the middle. Okay, <clears throat> then in the nine months cartridge. I end up cutting out the stalk with the baby and he's holding the baby ready to fly to get it delivered or about already delivered the baby getting ready to deliver the baby so what I end up doing I flipped it over to the other side so it's facing this way so here goes my stalk and I cut the base out of blue 
glitter metallic and I had an embossed image then I end up popping the wing up I put some glossy accents on the hat and the leg and I put a little rhinestone in the eye to give it an eyeball and now I got this on some foam tape and now I'm just gonna take all of this off and we're going to lay this down a lot of foam tape on this one I had to make sure it was gonna lay even but as you see the little tiny pieces too so okay and the last one is right there okay so now I'm just gonna take my Dog, and I'm gonna line it up because remember I got this on foam tape and before I lay it down completely I want to make sure it is lined up so let me close the card and make sure that it's going to be lined up perfect and that looks really good right there and right there and right there okay guys well there goes my card for today my god I love how it came out I hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how I made this base card and it says in the inside congratulations so happy for you both and I end up using congratulations and the frame from this Inky uh, TCP Studios uh, Elegant Greetings. And I used the frame and congratulations. And then I also used this swirly. Then for uh, So Happy For You Both, I used Wedding Bliss and from Scrappy Mom Stamp Set. And there goes my card, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial and this video, and if you would like to see more, please thumbs up, leave a comment, letting me know how you, how you like it. I so do appreciate it, guys. You have a fabulous Labor Day. You have a good night, and God bless. Bye now.